guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is the day I've been putting off for a little while now. I am usually very, very organized when it comes to my Christmas shopping and, you know, getting presents sorted. And this year, I just haven't been. I don't know what it is. I think maybe I've been quite busy with Flickr and obviously with hosting, I've had other things on my mind. So we put our food order in. So the Christmas turkey has officially been ordered. Very exciting. And I've also ordered some other goodies for Christmas day. And yeah, I've been, my mind has just been so preoccupied with the actual logistics of Christmas day and how it's gonna go that I've completely forgot that I actually need to buy some presents. So, um, I am actually going out today. I'm going to go into Nottingham, even though it is a little bit of a drive for me now. I like Nottingham just because it does have a John Lewis and yeah, it's a pretty much a bit of a fail safe for picking up little stocking fillers and things like that. Um, I'm obviously going to London next week, so I'll probably do a little bit more shopping there as well. But I just feel like for my own sanity, I need to make a head start on shopping because I don't want to leave it until last minute. So yeah, that is the plan for today. I've just got myself ready. I'll quickly show you my outfit and then we're going to get going and finally start some Christmas shopping. So just a super comfortable outfit for today to go shopping. I haven't put my coat on yet. I'll show you with my coat on as well, but I'm just wearing this oversized striped knitted jumper from mango it's just so comfortable so lovely i just love it i am wearing it with just some plain black leggings i think these ones are from h and m i've got so many pairs of black leggings guys i can't keep track of where they're all from but um yeah just standard black leggings and then my leather um knee high flat boots from glamify fashion and then i have just popped my hair up into a cute little headband. I'm so happy that headbands are back for like this season. It just means I don't have to constantly wash my hair. So if you notice your hair is getting a little bit flat or you know, you just know it's due a wash, a headband is just a great solution. So I've just used the Dyson Airwrap and waxed in a few loose curls and then popped a headband in. So yeah, this is the outfit that I'm gonna wear to go shopping. Let me grab my coat and bag and show you the full look. And the coat that I'm gonna be wearing is my cream coat. This one is from Forth and Reckless. I think I had this last year. Was it the year before? No, I think it was last year. I just love this because it's so long. It's so snuggly. I love the big sort of collar on it. I feel like I don't need to wear like a scarf with this coat because it is just so big around the neck. Super snuggly. Brilliant for a very cold day. Today it's very cold, but the sun is shining, so I'm really happy about that because I feel like Vlogmas day three was so dark all day. It honestly looked like I filmed the entire thing in the middle of the night. When I was editing it, I was honestly just like, is this really depressing? Why is it so dark? But luckily today it's much more sunny. Lovely, lovely morning. I'm really excited to get out and start Start a bit of shopping finally. I think I might stop by Starbucks on the way and grab something to eat because I've not had a chance to eat anything yet today. But yeah, this is the outfit. I am also gonna be using my new coach bag, but that's already downstairs and I couldn't be bothered just to run down and fetch it. You've seen it before, you know the drill. So yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs and grab my bag and then we can finally get going. And then my perfume of the day, I'm gonna be using a bit of my Jo Malone Lime, Basil and Mandarin. This is just such a lovely, lovely daytime perfume. So I'm gonna give myself a quick spritz of this. Lovely. Also, you might remember in my last vlog, me mentioning that I was still quite nasally and yeah, still not feeling 100%. That is still the case. I'm still just not feeling quite right in my head and nose. Um, so yeah, if I do, again, I apologize if I sound a little bit nasally, but that's just it. Also, my lips, when I'm ill, my lips really swell up overnight. And today I woke up and I was like, wow, I look like I've just had my lips freshly filled. I've not had any lip filler, just in case anyone wants to ask. This is just illness. This is what happens when I'm hungover and when I'm ill. So I've got very um, voluptuous lips today, should we say. I'm also very pleased to say that 
Da -da -da, our coffee table has finally arrived. So just to quickly tell you, this is from Still and Bloom. It's from the same place that I got the console table from in the hallway. Some of you might remember me saying when I bought that, I was so pleased with it that I knew I was going to go back to them and get the coffee table. And honestly, I just feel like it kind of completes this space even more. Like it just makes it feel so much more cosier. It's so nice to sit here and be able to have somewhere to pop our drinks down, watch TV. It's just lovely. Really, really impressed with it. Um, highly recommend Still and Bloom. They hand make everything here in the UK. So yeah, you can literally um, tell them what measurements you want and yeah, they're just really, really great. You can have their wood in like different stains, different colors. This is just in their natural. And obviously because it's all handmade, I believe it's all from like reclaimed wood. So all of the pieces are all a little bit different. They're not, you know, sort of machine made and mass produced. So you can guarantee you're gonna get um, a really like unique piece of furniture, which I think is really nice. And their prices are not absolutely extortionate for the service that they provide. They're really, really reasonable. So yeah, highly recommend guys. I'm thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with this coffee table. So yeah, just wanted to give them a quick shout out because they're a great little business. Something else that I ordered for Christmas was this. I was looking for a Christmas cookbook and this one had so many good reviews. Jamie Oliver's Christmas cookbook. It also arrived just in time before we put our food order in. So it gave me lots of good like inspo. There's so many recipes in here. There's puddings, desserts, there's side dishes, starters. There's honestly everything, even salads, like what to do with like your leftover turkey. There's just everything. Look, oh, pigs in blankets. There's just so many, cranberry sauce, just everything you would need for Christmas day. Well, for all over the Christmas period, to be honest, it's just it's so, so good. I've had a good like flick through and yeah, it's been giving me some really, really good ideas. So yeah, if you are looking for a little uh, cheeky, Christmas cookbook, then I would highly recommend the Jane Oliver one because it's great. It also has a really, really great guide for um, like cooking your meat and how to sort of season it properly, how long to cook it for. Um, it's really, really good. Really, really pleased with this. So yeah, I am gonna be referring to this for a fair few of the recipes over Christmas. They've got some really good um, like sausage roll recipes like for all different flavors of sausage rolls so i think that's one of the recipes i'm definitely going to be doing because i've always wanted to make my own sausage rolls very random but yeah i think i will now now i've got this myself a cheeky Starbucks before we get into Nottingham. I think I want to try something from their Christmas menu but I'm not sure what they've got. I need to have a look. Oh is this it here? Let me have a look. Ooh, festive feast panini that sounds nice. Hi welcome Starbucks. What can I get for you? Hello um please could I get the festive feast panini? Yep. Um, and then could I also get the toffee nut latte, please? Just yep. the um, just a regular size, please, yeah, medium. Please um, yes, please. And That's it. Thank you. Can take out the thank you. Woohoo! Excited. Lovely. Thank you. Decided to get myself the toffee nut latte, which I've never actually tried before, so I'm excited for that. And then I also got ooh, the festive feast panini. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what is in the festive feast panini. Let me have a quick look. So turkey breast, smoked bacon, mature cheddar cheese, cranberry gravy and pork, sage and onion stuffing in a rustic ciabatta roll. Well, that's, uh, well, I went, to say, I went to say well and wow and it came, came out as well. Well, that sounds amazing. Let me try the latte first. I hope it's not too hot. Please don't burn me. Oh, that's really nice. 
it takes the toffee takes like you know sometimes with a latte i mean i am not the biggest fan of really strong coffee drinks i don't like the bitterness of it but i feel like the toffee in that just takes like the bitterness away it's really nice oh yeah i'll be having that again okay let's try the panini oh my god there's there's so much i wish they cut these in half because they're so big oh my god that's hot oh wow that is so hot oh my gosh it's all falling apart ow it's burning my fingers ouch 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 right i'm having to just pull this off in bite-sized amounts because it's so hot and oh, that was a mouthful of stuffing and that was delightful oh my gosh that was really tasty let's try a little bit of turkey oh my gosh that turkey is so good you know sometimes turkey can be a bit dry that is not dry oh wow that is really really good festive feast panini you have my seal of approval that is good oh gosh the sun's really coming in now i would say that was a great success i would definitely have both of these things again oh my gosh that panini is so much better than i thought sometimes i feel like with paninis they can be quite dry sometimes the filling to bread ratio just isn't enough do you know what i mean and you just get very dry panini that <laughs> why did the words dry panini make me oh no guys my head is just in the gutter honestly i'm so sorry i'm so immature i don't like a dry panini <laughs> if anyone sees me right now just talking to absolutely nobody giggling to myself at the words dry panini anyway this is not a dry panini it's really really good really good very happy about this right enough chit chat I better finish off my panini and then get back on the road and get this shopping trip underway because I've dilly dallied enough but this was an essential stop I'm very glad I made this stop now well I tried to go to my usual car park when I drive into Nottingham and it was full so I can only imagine how busy it's going to be shopping today so I've had to come to the car park that I don't like very much because it's a little bit tight and when I'm driving the bigger car I just feel a little bit a bit vulnerable sometimes going around these corners but anyway I'm gonna find my parking space finally I can't believe how long it's taken me just to get the car sorted so yeah and then I think I'm gonna head because I'm in this car park I think I'm gonna head to John Lewis first I feel like that's always a really good safe bet for finding you know lots of little bits I need to get some bits for Andy as well technically his Christmas present was the Ricky Gervais ticket because he really wanted to go and see them so I said I'd get them him for Christmas but I don't, I'm just a soft touch guys I can't not get him anything to open on Christmas Day that's just cruel isn't it so I think I'm gonna get him some little bits I know that he's running out of his favorite aftershave so I think I'll pick up one of those um, and then yeah just see what little bits they've got really if I can find a blinking parking space that is and I'd quite like to have a look to see what other bits they've got in terms of like you know like games and things like that for Christmas Day or Boxing Day but yeah I love John Lewis and I don't really go there very often so I like taking my time having a nice mooch I'm by myself which makes it so much easier to have a nice look around so yeah I'm excited to get in there and see what they've got Okay guys just jumping on with the voiceover because as you can imagine all of the shops were just blasting Christmas music and even though it was putting me in a good mood YouTube doesn't like it so here I am just wanted to quickly show you this um, little like Christmas display in John Lewis it was all sort of like woodland rustic -y themed very similar to the theme that I went for so 
if you are doing that yourself or yeah you liked what i did with my christmas tree then head to john lewis they had some really really cute little bits i loved this little owl they had like little birds and yeah they just were really really killing it with the woodland theme so i just wanted to include these little clips just in case you decide to do the same thing yourself anyway carrying on with the christmas shopping i had to stop by this little section here i love truffles and i think they make really really lovely stocking fillers and um, they just go really really nice with presents so did pick up a couple of these i'll show you at the end what i bought but yeah if you're looking for some lovely truffles highly recommend and then in terms of gifts i thought i'd show you around a few of my favorite sections and a few of my sort of like hero products from each of the sections so first off started with neon no surprise i love neon if you've been watching my vlogs for a while you'll already know i'm obsessed with their candles their reed diffusers they make such a lovely present. My personal faves are, I love the happiness candle. I also really love the boost your energy candle. That's the one that I have in my office. But to tell you the truth, guys, they all smell incredible. And if you know someone that is a big fan of Neom as well, this would be a great gift, unless they have it already, obviously. This is their wellbeing pod. So you just buy the different oils and yeah, it just will make your home smell incredible. This is definitely on my wish list, but Neom also do great gift boxes as well. And I thought this one was lovely. This is their greatest sleep gift box. Includes loads of the Neom goodies for a fraction of the price than, you know, if you were to buy them all separately. Really great bargain. And then on to skincare. So there's a lot of brands that I love when it comes to skincare, but let's start with murad murad are just really really great i mean most products from murad i stand by and i think they're brilliant but if i was to pick one i'd say the murad retinol is up there with one of the best murad retinol is so so lovely um, and also i have to give a little mention to the vitamin c i love their vitamin c as well but I'd say the retinol is my fave. If you're looking for some lovely skincare, maybe for your mum, Sarah Chapman is a great brand. They have so many lovely products, really nice, luxurious night creams, which I think are really, really good. So yeah, I also saw this little like starter sort of cleansing kit, which I thought would be great if someone wanted to try out the Sarah Chapman products. And also Sunday Riley. Now, unfortunately, my skin um, had a bit of a reaction to Sunday Riley when I tried it um, a couple of years ago, but I've heard so many good things about um, all of their products, especially their nighttime products. And also Fresh, another great brand. Now, again, all of their products are great, but if I was going to choose one, my hero product would have to be their Sugar um, Lip Scrub. Really, really good. Great to pop in a stocking as well. Really, really good. And then Cordily, I love Cordily products, but again, let me show you my hero product. I love their Beauty Elixir Spray. This is so, so good for like freshening up your makeup, for just stopping your face looking dry. It's delightful, honestly, love it. And also Ren Skincare, I love. But my top product from Ren, if I was going to choose one, is their ready steady glow tonic i love this toner so much so yeah if you've got a skincare lover in your life then that's definitely a product i'd recommend from neil's yard there's one product that sticks out for me and shock the shelf was empty this was the last one on the shelf it's their english lavender body lotion smells divine if you know someone that you know needs a new moisturizer pop this in their stocking couple of aftershave recommendations for the men this one from hermes this is andy's favorite and i can confirm it smells lovely but another one that i really like is this one from replica my favorite out of their collection is called jazz club this just smells gorgeous i would wear this myself because i quite like the fragrance but yeah really really good and then another brand that I love is Cowshed. I actually love the Cowshed hand wash. I love having that in my bathroom, but they also do really lovely shower gels 
and also candles as well. So yeah, lovely brand to include in someone's stocking. And then if you know someone that's into their tech or, you know, an aspiring vlogger, these are the cameras that I recommend. So I've used the Canon G7X Mark II. That was my old camera, really good. But the camera I use currently is the Sony ZV-1. These are the prices of them. I personally prefer the Sony, but yeah, both are really, really good. And then for another great camera, I recommend the Sony Alpha 3. Very pricey, but this is what I filmed the Christmas intro with. The footage that this gets is just gorgeous. And then for headphones, I recommend Bang & Olufsen. They didn't have the ones that I have in store, but I have a gorgeous pair of like beige nudie ones and they are so, so nice. Always get complimented on them. So yeah, these are great. And then decided to have a little walk down to Zara and H&M just to have a look at the bits they had in. When I went into Zara, wasn't too impressed to be honest, but I did spot this lovely jumper dress and thought how nice this would be to wear on Christmas day with some lovely tights, slippers or boots, whatever your vibe is, but I thought this was nice and it was 50 quid. I also spotted this lovely cable knit. It does have gems on it as well, but it's hard to see on the camera. But yeah, I thought it was very, very cute. Um, I had another one here that was nice. This was giving me Apri Ski vibes and I really, really loved this. So yeah. And then also I spotted these heels, which, you know, if you're one for dressing up for Christmas day or just are looking for a new sparkly pair of heels, I thought these were so, so cute. I very nearly put these in my basket. And also this faux fur coat. This just felt so luxurious. So yeah, well done Zara, I thought this was gorgeous. Then I made my way down to H&M. I thought H&M had a lot more stock in than Zara, to be honest. They had these lovely jumpers with little like sort of pearl details on, only 19 99 which I thought was really good and just a really cute little jumper to wear, maybe with some little shorts and tights. Really, really like these. And also spotted this gray jumper. I own the black version of this, but this looked more like a jumper dress. So yeah, I did pick that up because I wanted to try it on in the changing room. Also more jumpers, more like apres ski vibes. They had so many jumpers like this. I was really, really loving H&M to be honest. Everything they had, I wanted to pick up. I loved this um, white dress. Also the black jumper. I, oh, I don't know why I didn't pick this up now. I'm kind of having regrets but this was so so lovely more jumpers how cute are these two i couldn't decide between the two i think i was swaying a little bit more towards the beige and here i am in the changing room as you can see decided to try on the beige jumper absolutely love this but I don't know why, I feel like the neck just wasn't sitting right on me. I don't know whether this was just at the time, because looking at it now, it doesn't look too bad, but I don't know, the neck felt a little bit weird, but yeah, now I'm looking at it, now I'm kind of wishing I bought it, but just wanted to try it on. And also the grey jumper dress, I just wanted to check how long this was, just to make sure that it would actually be long enough to wear as a dress. Can confirm it is really really like this and spoiler i did end up buying this so yeah i just wanted to make sure of the size first and then oh my gosh how lovely is this jumper dress i really love dresses like all jumpers that are off the shoulder i just think showing that part of your body it's just really really flattering it just shows a little bit of skin still looks very wintry and cute I just kind of picked this up on a little bit of a whim, to be honest, but yeah, really, really like this. So I did get a fair few bits from H&M, but um, I'll do a little haul when I get home. Okay guys, I've just got back and as you can probably tell by the light, it is dark outside. That is the problem with filming Vlogmas videos when you just film them over one day, is by the time you get halfway through the day, it's dark, so this is the light that I'm having to deal with. Now, I did have 
I'd say it was fairly successful in terms of Christmas shopping. I did get some nice bits for myself. <laughs> Gotta treat yourself at Christmas, you know? Um, but I did get some cute bits as well. Now, I can't show you everything just because I don't know who's going to be watching this and I don't want to give away too many presents. I have told certain people not to watch this video, but I'm still not going to show certain things just in case they get nosy and they do because I really don't want to ruin a couple of these surprises. Um, so a couple of the bags are not in shot and I won't be showing you, I'm afraid, just because I don't want to spoil any surprises. But... Um, a couple of bits that I will show you, which I thought, I don't know, it might give you a little bit of inspo as well. Um, something that I'm doing this year, which I have never done before, um, because I've never hosted Christmas before really, but I had the idea to do this. Basically, I want to do like a Christmas Eve box for everyone. So obviously I'm hosting for Andy's like mum and dad and obviously for Andy and stuff. But I just thought, you know, like parents do like or i know some do do like children like their christmas eve box and they might give them i don't know their christmas eve pajamas and maybe a little toy for christmas eve or some sweets some chocolate i thought why not do an adult version of that because christmas is a strange one i think i feel like the kind of like magic of christmas is more prominent maybe when there's children and everything that comes with Christmas, you know, with having, you know, children around, it's, it's, I feel like it's more of like an exciting, magical time. But I feel like sometimes when it's just adults, sometimes that aspect can get a bit lost and you have to kind of create it yourself. I hope that makes sense, but I just thought, why not do a cute Christmas Eve box for everyone, but for adults? So I'm gonna do a box and in the box I think at the moment what I'm going to do is get everyone some nice pyjamas to wear for Christmas Eve or you know for Christmas morning for when we're opening our presents and then basically in the box put just cute little bits that you know people can use on Christmas Eve night or Christmas day morning only little things so I did make a little bit of a start on the Christmas Eve box so I'll show you a couple of bits that I got for them. So firstly, I thought it would be really nice in everyone's Christmas Eve box to put a little um, cute shower gel for everyone. And in John Lewis, they had these lovely boxed molten brown shower gels, but in a little bauble shape so i got this one this one is the vintage with elderflower festive bauble obviously i don't want to get everyone like a full size shower gel it's just not necessary i wanted like a cute mini one so you know when people want their showers on christmas morning or christmas eve they can use this one that's in their box i just thought it was really really cute so i got everyone one of those and um, i got so i got me and andy's mum this one the gold sparkly one and then for the boys, I got the Recharge Black Pepper, which is in the gold box. And very manly colour. It's not gold or sparkly, so I'm sure they'll approve of that. And then I also got these. I wanted to get some really nice chocolates as well. Just for, you know, if you go to bed Christmas Eve and you get a bit peckish. I mean, with all the food that I've ordered, I'd be surprised if people were still hungry. But just in case... I got these um, little truffles. So they, I love these are like my favourite truffles ever. So I got these ones for the girls. So the pink champagne truffles. So I just thought that'd be really, really nice. And then I also got the milk chocolate. And I'm sure there's another one. This was another one. Oh yeah, the dark sea salt and caramel truffles. I just thought oh, it would be really cute. I mean, how cute are these gonna be in a little box with some pajamas? I might pop a face mask in there. I think I'm gonna get some Christmas like socks. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's just my little idea. So over the next couple of weeks, I will kind of be adding to these little boxes, but yeah. Maybe that's given you some inspo. Maybe you might like to do that as well. So yeah, I got all of these were from John Lewis. I did get um, Andy a couple of bits as well, which I'm not going to show because 
for obvious reasons, but he did well. Let's put it that way. And then also, I popped the case, so I popped into H&M. I actually popped to Zara first, and I wasn't impressed with Zara. They had a couple of okay things, but nothing that kind of blew me away. So I did go into H&M, and I picked myself up just a few little goodies. To be honest, the stuff that I bought was very much like Christmas Day outfits kind of vibes. So what I want to do is, I think what I'll do is, because it's so dark now, and I want to try these on for you, I might cheat. I know Vlogmas is supposed to be over one day, but I might stretch this Vlogmas day over one and one day and tomorrow morning. And in the morning, I might show you what I bought from H&M and do a little try on haul for you because I know you'll love, you'll love what I've got. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go and get ready for bed and put my pajamas on, do my skincare. And then first thing in the morning, let's unbox, unbox? Let's try on my new H&M bits and show you what I bought. Who's ready for a haul? I'm back, good morning. I'm gonna show you what I bought from H&M. Yes, I have put the exact same outfit on because, you know, continuity, guys. And it feels very strange because I am gonna be starting another vlog soon, but I'm filming this first and, oh, very confusing. But wait till I show you what I've got. Guys, I've got a very, very full bag here. So I think what I'll do is let me show you everything that I've got first and then I'll try it all on for you at the end. So first, okay, I've had my arm this jumper for a while now. It is pricey for H&M, but it's gorgeous. So it's one of their mohair, let me read what this is. Mohair wool blend jumpers. You might have seen this already, but this jumper, which I just think is absolutely gorgeous. So they do this in like a gray blend and a brown blend, but I just thought this would be so, gorgeous for over Christmas, like maybe Boxing Day. And the one thing I do love about this as well is it's long enough to wear as like a jumper dress, which is what I wanted it for. Cause I thought wearing this with some gorgeous tights, boots, coat would just look beautiful and it will keep you really, really warm. So I picked this up in a size, I think medium? Yeah, size medium, just to make sure I've got enough room and yeah, I absolutely love it. Next up, how cute would these be to wear Christmas Day opening presents? These PJs, these little green and blue check. I think they're so, so cute. I mean, I wouldn't do, I wouldn't wear them with the button done up at the top, but love some check pajamas this time of year. So I got the top and the Bottoms, just really, really cute. I'm not gonna try pajamas on, guys. I think, you know, pajamas are pajamas, let's be real. So, also got them. Now, this you would have seen me try on in store. It's the grey, I always think these are reindeer, but they're not, they're actually llamas. But it's a grey jumper dress. Now, any eagle-eyed viewers might see that I actually have the black version of this, and I wore it in the intro. And when I saw they did it in grey, I just thought I have to get it. I love my black version of this one. But with this one, I've um, noticed they've actually made this one longer. So my black jumper is very much a jumper. A little bit too short to be worn uh, as like a jumper dress. Whereas this one is 100% long enough to be worn as a jumper dress, hence why I wanted it. I love the kind of design on it anyway, but the fact that I can just wear this one a little bit different to my other jumper, it just sold it to me, but yeah, I did try it on in store because like I said, I just wanted to make sure that it was definitely long enough, um, but yeah. And by the way, I'm wearing this. Another reason I tried it on is because I'd seen some reviews online saying that this was huge and it is. So you know me, usually I will oversize in anything like this. This is an extra small. So I've actually sized down. So I did try two different sizes on the changing room and yeah, it's very big. So either stick true to size or size down and you'll be absolutely fine. Next, I picked up these little ear cuffs. I just thought these were so sweet. 
I don't have my ears pierced up around here, so I love wearing ear cuffs just to give the illusion that I have. And yeah, I think ears aren't always the most attractive thing. I like making them pretty if I've got them out. So yeah, decided to pick up some more ear cuffs because my problem is as well, I lose these so much. So yeah, I've lost a couple of my favorite ones. So yeah, decided to grab those as well. Something else you will have seen me try on because again, I just wanted to check the size was this beautiful white off the shoulder jumper dress. How stunning would this be to wear on like Christmas day or even like Christmas Eve, Boxing Day, if you're having drinks. Some people will not get out of their pajamas on Christmas day. Some people go all out and wear, you know, like a, a dress or something for Christmas dinner. Me, I think I'm that happy medium. Christmas day, I love to do my hair and makeup because as well, I like to dig into all my new goodies. You know, you always get like, I don't know, a new perfume or new skincare or new makeup bits. I am that person. Those are my toys on Christmas day. I like to play with all my new bits. So I do love to do my hair and makeup, but I like to be very comfortable and I like to just wear really cozy, but nice knitwear. I think it's very like apres ski vibes, I think is what I go for. Very like the holiday vibes, apres ski, chalet girl. That's my vibe on Christmas day. A bit like this. I probably will be wearing my headband on Christmas day. I just like glam hair and makeup, cozy, comfortable outfit. And I just thought this dress fit the bill. I think I'm so tempted to wear this. Maybe Boxing Day, I know we're having a bit of a Boxing Day party, or Christmas Day. I don't know yet, I haven't decided, but I definitely want to wear it. I think it's super flattering, I just love it. And um, this is in my normal size, size small. Next up, I picked up this grey skirt. Now, yes, this does literally look like a school skirt, but I wanted to wear it because I have a grey jumper from Zara, and I have seen on Pinterest a couple of pictures basically of like an all grey outfit of like oversized grey knit, knitted jumper, um, grey almost like school looking skirt, tights, boots and it just looks gorgeous. So I decided to give the pleated grey skirt a go and yeah I'm gonna wear it with my grey jumper in the try and clip for you so that I can show you exactly what I mean but, um, but yeah I'm sure you'll get the vibe. Potential outfit for London maybe? Who knows? Another jumper I picked up was this wool jumper. So it's just, this is very, very plain, but it's just black wool, just a black woolly jumper because all of my thick jumpers that are black are cropped and I didn't have just a regular cozy jumper that wasn't cropped. So I saw this one, thought this would look gorgeous. I think this will look really nice with some black, like faux leather shorts, tights, boots, lovely big coat yeah it's just really really cozy so had to pick this up um and i did get it in my normal size of a size small just because with these kind of jumpers i envision like tucking them in to like the fronts of like my trousers or my shorts so i don't need this to be too big i don't need to wear this as like a jumper dress or anything so yeah just stay true to size because it did look slightly oversized anyway so yeah okay i picked this up as a layering piece one thing i really like doing and you will have seen me do this in the intro i love popping like a turtleneck underneath um, a jumper just again it's another layer gives it that like i said apres ski kind of vibe and i've got a black turtleneck but i needed a white one for the same reason just for layering underneath and so yeah i just picked up this one because it was just a basic white turtleneck really and i was lacking I do have one from Zara, but I've got a little hole in the armpit. I don't know how. I think my acrylic might have stabbed it at some point last year. But yeah, I've got a little hole in the armpit, so I needed a new one. But yeah, size small, just very standard, really. And then I also got, I thought this underneath this sweater would look so cute. This is just a bit of fun. I love a graphic sweater. I do love Disney. And I just thought this cool like mickey mouse christmasy themed sweatshirt was so cute does have a little bit of like vintage vibes about it kind of giving me like princess diana vibes i think with the white turtleneck underneath it will just look so cute for this time of year yeah 
Just a really good throw on sweatshirt. And then finally, um, I decided to grab myself a new coat for dog walks because I, don't get me wrong, I've got a couple, but they are getting a little bit grubby. Wanted to treat myself to a new one. So I saw this really long khaki puffer coat in H&M and thought, you know what? That will keep me so warm. That will fit the bill. I can imagine wearing this on Christmas day, taking the dogs out. Yeah, just really, really snuggly and warm. And problem is as well, my current dog walking coats, some of them have kind of like snuck over to the horse side of life. So yeah, they're getting, they're really getting their wear out of them. So I just thought this would be really nice for wintry dog walks. Anyway, guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this video. Sorry, it might be a little bit longer than I anticipated, but yeah, I wanted to show you everything that I bought while it was daylight, obviously. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one where I will be heading down to London. Bye, guys. Oh.